Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com and in this short video I'd like to show you how to create a branding intro that you can add to the start of all your YouTube videos. First of all, let's take a look at the YouTube Creator Studio. If you head over to Channel here and then click into In Video Programming, you'll find this new feature down the bottom, Add a Branding Intro. Now in order to do that, you need a video uploaded that is exactly three seconds in duration. So I'm going to create one. First of all, let's head into Premiere Pro right now and we'll take this clip I prepared earlier and put it in as a new sequence from the clip into what is known as kind of the Adobe Premiere Pro multi-track. Now, as you can see, it's nearly 10 seconds, so I need to trim that down a little. And there's a little bit of music there, so do you know what? I'm going to completely uh, get rid of that by unlinking that music and then deleting it, because we'll create something new. Now I want to find the start point, which I think will be good to be around there. Drag that in, pull that down. Uh, and then we'll find the end point, which I think will be, as you can see, it goes on for quite a while afterwards. We don't need all of that. So just after the little gloss goes over the music, about there will be fine. Drag that in like that. Now you'll see up here it's still four seconds long, which YouTube simply won't accept. So I'm going to right click on the video and then I'm going to go to speed duration and I'm going to move that all the way down until it's exactly, whoops, too short, exactly three seconds in duration. Click OK. Boom. You've got yourself a three second intro now. Looks lovely. So now to make some audio, and you know I love Adobe Audition, so let's head into that and record a quick voiceover, which will introduce my channel with, of course, our website, musicradiocreative.com. So let me do that now. Musicradiocreative.com. Now I better check that that is exactly three seconds, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Um, yeah, I think I can get away with that, 2.5 seconds. So let's get rid of that. And actually, we can uh, just musicradiocreative.com. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Now, what I would usually do is maybe go in and add a little bit of dynamics processing. So let's head in and add something here. Uh, perhaps one of these presets like Boomy Kick. That will just do a little bit to brighten it up. Musicradiocreative.com. Okay, and then I will maybe trim the end and the start just here. Musicradiocreative.com. I think I'll pop it into the multi-track as well. Let's create something right now on the desktop. So we can do that. Fantastic. Now the session is on the desktop. I'll drag in my untitled recording there. And you know, I think I'm gonna also go into the effects rack and add a little bit of reverb. Just that little tiny bit of shine. Musicradiocreative.com. Bring up the dry. Musicradiocreative.com. Okay, that'll be enough for now. And then I've pre-selected a couple of sound effects. So what I want to do is I want to have a bit of a boom when this comes in. So I'm going to drag in my boomy stereo effect there. You can see it on the second track. And this effect here has a lovely end to it. Have a listen. So that will be the kind of ending to the intro. Uh, so we got the in, the out. Now I just need to find out where the point is in the video uh, that you get that big bang. So let's uh, let's have a look in Premiere Pro. Uh, there is a point you see here, boom. See that bit? I want to match the sound effect to that lovely boom that happens there, which is at zero 08. Now you've got to be careful with this because that's frames and not seconds. So it gets a bit complex, but it's okay because you can go in here, time display, and you can change it uh, for the purpose of video editing. So I'm going to do that now. There's a lot of confusing stuff in here, but I know that I'm editing film at 24 frames per second. So let's do that and zoom in. And now let's attempt to find 08, which is there. So as you can see, that's relatively quickly uh, that that actually happens. So what I need to do now is just, I'm gonna trim the end off here. I'm gonna put on the time stretch and time stretch it until that bit is at 0 0.8 around there. So let's do that a little bit more. There we go, pull that out. And now we've got something that goes on for three seconds. Remember that, that key, everywhere when we're making this edit for this branding intro. Three seconds is what you're aiming for. So let's delete that. Put Music Radio Creative there. Let's have a listen so far. Musicradiocreative.com. Perfect. And then to end it all off, I'm going to drag in that effect and you'll see exactly how I'm going to use that. 
three seconds is not there but there as you can see so that effect should end exactly at that point so let's trim both of those tracks exactly at three seconds and delete that perfect exactly three seconds precisely as youtube guidelines say musicradiocreative.com and if I wanted to, I could also fade that in like that and maybe take the volume down a bit so it's not too overpowering. Tiv.com. Perfect. Okay, let's go into the multi-track. Let's mix down the entire session. There it is for you. Uh, funnily enough, Adobe Audition has had a little bit of silence at the end. I don't want that Adobe Audition. Delete. All right, go on. As you can see, exactly three seconds. Now I am going to save this onto my desktop. Let's call it branding intro audio always save as WAV for the highest quality possible back into Premiere Pro and then I'm going to just import that so you can go into file import if you wish onto your desktop there's the audio in it goes drag it across oh wow three seconds exactly the same as the uh, video the visual which is good so let's play that back and watch it up here musicradiocreative.com Looks good to me, and then I can go into File, and I'll show you exactly how I do this. Export Media to make it YouTube friendly. Now I know that this is recorded in 1080p HD, so I can go into H.264, that's what YouTube seems to like. And in Adobe Premiere Pro there is even a preset, go right the way down, and you'll find YouTube 1080p. You can also do 720, wouldn't recommend any less, it looks rubbish. So 1080p will be good, there you go, already the output name is Music Radio Creative Intro. Export it, let's get that exported, it won't take too long because it's only 3 seconds long, so it's not that long. And that is done. So now we go back to our lovely YouTube Creator Studio. Remember channel in video programming. Add a branding intro. It's going to say you don't currently have any sec three second videos. So upload one to use this feature. So you can go in, make it unlisted unless you want to notify all of your YouTube subscribers. So I'd recommend to make it unlisted. Head over and there it is. Music Radio Creative Intro MP4. Up it goes, and once it's finished uploading and processing, you simply add it in the place that I've just shown you. It really is as simple and as easy as that to do yourself a branding intro using a combo of Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't want to do it yourself, you can just go to mrc.fm slash branding intro, and we'll create you one here at Music Radio Creative. If you'd like to get your very own branding intro video for YouTube, head to mrc.fm slash branding intro now. MusicRadioCreative.com